Chorus is an open-world space combat game developed by Fish Labs and published by Deep Silver. Hidden Machine recently received a review copy of this game, and after spending some time with it, I'd like to share my generally spoiler-free first impressions. You take on the role of Nara, who is an especially skilled pilot. The game sees Nara taking on an evil cult named The Circle, who are looking to dominate the entire universe. The stakes are high, and Nara has a bit of a checkered past that involves her being tied to the circle. These past experiences are explored through her internal monologue and these memories that the player can find scattered throughout the world. I'll say right off the bat that I've never been good with space combat or any games where you pilot ships or planes or mechs in a 3D space. I was pretty good at Star Fox 64, but I really excelled at the on-rails parts and often had trouble navigating the all range mode sections. Because of that, I was skeptical about whether or not I'd be able to really keep up in chorus, but I'm happy to say that I found the controls to be rather intuitive, and moving around in space does feel pretty fucking cool. Once you get past the opening mission, you're pretty much free to go wherever you want. Aside from the main story mission, you can explore different points of interest, take on side missions, or just fly around and look for loot. As you move around, you'll get into combat scenarios. And while I had a little bit of difficulty adjusting to the feel of the combat in the game, I do think these fights are a lot of fun. Like I said, my only real serious point of reference for this sort of thing is Star Fox 64. And I was happy to see that I could do a barrel roll, but I was a little frustrated that there wasn't a somersault maneuver to help me quickly swoop around in combat. However, between your boosters, the generally smooth and precise movement of your ship, and a few special abilities that you'll find, Chorus really does give you all the tools you'll need to make it through a fight. Beyond that, your ship, weapons, and abilities can all be upgraded and customized. You'll have slots for mods, you can learn these different rites, which are essentially psychic superpowers and are tied to Nara's past. To be honest, I had a hard time following all the lore. For one thing, I just couldn't get the audio to play during the opening cutscenes, so I think I missed some stuff right off the bat. I mean, I do have a basic grip on what's happening, but at the same time, characters talk a bit too much for me and I do think it all kind of muddies the narrative. And speaking of characters talking too much, I would sometimes have an NPC call out to me, but it wasn't always clear where that voice was coming from or what I was supposed to do. Take this for example. So I'm pretty deep into editing this video and I find out that the audio is corrupted on the scene in particular that I'm talking about, so I'm going to do my best to recreate the audio for you. Here we go. Pirates, help! We're under heavy attack! Almost there. I flew past this area a few times, and that dialogue kept playing, but I figured I would get some sort of more, you know, blatant clue as to where the pirates are, or where this distress signal's coming from. Maybe I'm just a big fucking idiot, but I ran into several situations like this pretty early on. I think that in part it has something to do with the fact that you don't really see anyone that you're talking to. It's all just rocks and ships and floating space stations. So for me, it's a little difficult at times to know exactly what's what. That said, once you actually start a mission, things are generally easy to follow, and progression does feel good. It's exciting to get credits and new upgrades and level up your ship. There's also something called mastery, which is Basically, a you know, Skyrim-style experience system where the more you do something, the more you build skill points in that skill, and you get all these different perks. Uh, it's, you know, you do something, the more you do it, you become a master at it, and you reap the benefits of that mastery. I think that's a cool system, and it does reward the player for just playing the game, which is something that I don't think enough games do. 
Pretty early on into the story, Nara reunites with her old ship named Forsaken, although she calls it Forsa. And it's a talking ship that is alive, sort of. It, it's sentient. I don't really fully understand yet uh, what that means and, and to what level uh, of awareness it exists in, but for, for me, the, the talking ship is honestly a bit much. The Enclave. There are more ships than I remember. Yes. But not as much as Nara's overly edgy and emotional delivery when talking to herself or really when she's talking to anyone. We're still counting our dead while people keep fleeing here from the outer reaches. Looking for protection. They won't find it here. It feels like a little bit of a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde thing at times, which I'm sure is going to be further explored as the story continues, but to be honest, for me, the story really isn't the main attraction here. A lot of reviewers have mentioned that the lore is a bit much in this game, and while this is kind of embarrassing to admit, I sort of zoned out at times during some of the cutscenes, but as soon as I got control of the ship again, I was fully invested. I haven't completed the campaign yet, but everything I've played so far is really solid. There's a few control and navigation type things, like drifting, that I had a hard time getting down, but once I did, I really felt like I accomplished something in the game and could utilize those skills in battle. Speaking as someone who has really never been able to get too deep into any vehicle-based games, Chorus is pretty damn good. And if you're into any sort of space fighters or ship games, I really think you'll have a good time with Chorus. It's out now on PC, the Xboxes, and the Playstations, as well as Stadia and Luna, and to be honest, I had to look up Luna because I've never heard of that before, but whatever you play it on, I do think it's worth checking out. If you want to hear us talk about some other cool games, uh, be sure to check out the rest of the channel. We upload twice a week and have a bunch of other things like shorts and TikToks and uh, look, we got stuff everywhere. Just check it out. See ya.